You are on speaker already. You're on speaker already. You're already on speaker, dude. I hey. Know, do I need to be on speaker? No, you're good. You're good. I'm good right now? Yeah. Okay, okay so hey, let me come on your side. Yeah, yeah. I'm live. Yep, that's good. Yeah. I got somebody on the phone that Santa and Oreo have been ignoring and won't answer their phones for. Okay. And <laughs> it's Eddie. It's Eddie. Does he want? Eddie would like to speak to David and them on the phone. Yeah. So that I know they're listening <laughs> to this live stream. Right? Yeah. Go ahead, Eddie. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. We got about 430 hey, people. What, hey, what, what, what's going on? Uh, hey, this is Echo. Echo <laughs> Romeo 2, otherwise known as Eddie. <laughs> a is, real fucking proud boy. A real proud boy. We got this. Is we're unlocking a, a real, proud boy. A here. real fucking proud boy. <laughs> uh, I got a question. How, how come y'all won't answer a fucking simple question? What's the question? Well, no, my question is, is why did you guys knowingly harbor and defend convicted level three child sex offenders even when people like myself and others were reaching out to you and trying to tell you the damage that this would do? Nobody wants to answer that question. It's like the big white elephant in the room, man. Come on, now. It's the big white elephant. Nobody wants to answer that question. All y'all want to ignore it. Y'all want to sweep it under the rug. You want to delete people. You want to silence them. You want to put them on a 30-minute break. Whatever, you know, whatever it is. I don't, I don't even understand all of it, but seriously. I mean, why did you all... I'm talking David. David... Why did you knowingly allow convicted chomos to live in a parking lot with women and children for weeks? Y'all know damn good and well one minute was too fucking long. But y'all insisted on doing it. <laughs> Nobody wants to answer that question. I'm not all about the name calling and the little childish games. Everybody's playing right now. I'm about the real deal. Why did you allow convicted chomos to live in a parking lot with women and children for weeks? And y'all knew it. I also want to know, because I know what the rebuttal is. I know what the rebuttal is. Oh, well, you know, he was wrongfully convicted. I get it, y'all. want that That's the rebuttal now. At first, it was denial. And then now y'all are working on excuses. Excuses don't work, brother. It's on paper. They're convicted. They're convicted. Why would you even take that chance? Especially when people that had your best interest involved. Trying to explain to you the damage that this would cause. Y'all want to sit here and say, oh, well, he was wrongfully convicted. Well, I got, I got another damn question for you. What real man admits... To being a chomo, a pedophile. I'm 47 years old and you could hang 50 years over my head. And if I did not do that, I would not admit to it. I hope y'all are hearing this. I hope you're listening. I hope you're really paying attention. Like I said, I'm 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 fair I'm fairly right of center. I mean I am I am right of center. You, and I am a Christian, but I'll be damned if I will stand and support what you guys did. It don't matter that they're not there not anymore. That don't matter. Who knows if they're there or not? You know, supposedly y'all just got an open invitation. Come on back when you want to. 
You know, this bullshit with the uh, uh, the parole officer, some letter or note, that's phony as hell, too. That's phony. That don't make it right. Level three means highly likely to reoffend. And y'all allowed them son of a bitches to live in a parking lot with women and children. It wasn't just a day. It wasn't just two fucking days. One minute was too long. And you had people trying to tell you the damage this would cause. Look, I'm old guard. I'm old guard, PB. You got all these young young bucks running around saying they're PB. Nah, they ain't real PB. I'm old guard. And what you're doing is fucking wrong and you fucking know it. Every goddamn one of you. Every fucking one of you is wrong. Every fucking one of you is wrong. I'm fired up. I am disgusted. I am completely disgusted at the, the, the just the piss poor decisions that was made. When people tried to let you know the damage this was caused. It's not right. And y'all know it. Y'all know it. Y'all want to sit here and make stupid games, this, that, and the other. Hey, look, I'm not about stupid ass games. I'm not about that. I'm, I'm fucking real. I shut down shit in Texas because of these groomers that are grooming in Texas. I shut it down. How can I defend shutting shit down in Texas when you guys are doing the same fucking thing? Disgusting. Every fucking one of you. Disgusting. Y'all need to think about it. Y'all need to go home. Get rid of the name 1776 Restoration Movement because it's been tainted by pedophilia. It's been tainted. And y'all sitting here running around the country trying to attach yourselves to righteous, patriot, freedom movements. Every damn one of you should be ashamed of yourselves. Every damn one of you. It's not right. I'm going to stand up again. I will do everything in my power. If y'all even try to come to Texas, I will shut your ass down. Y'all even try to come. How can I justify standing in front of, sure enough, Antifa, guns a blazing, ready for a firecracker to go off, and not say something about this? Y'all disgust me. Y'all are disgusting. I will not support or defend you what so fucking ever. And like I said, this is coming from a real proud boy. A real old guard proud boy. None of this bullshit, 2020 bullshit. I'm talking old school proud boy that used to do what we did. And y'all sitting here doing this in the name of patriotism and Christianity and the Proud Boys. I, 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 <clears throat> I am beyond disgusted. I am beyond disgusted with you guys. And like I said, I am all about patriotism, freedom. I catch shit all the time because I'm right of center. But I will not support you and I damn sure if you guys come to Texas I'm telling you what you will be shut down don't even fucking try it don't even try it Texas does not like pedophilia and unfortunately you guys made that decision every damn one of you by being complicit and not standing up and saying anything just because you had some mama bears, supposedly, that said, you know, hey, we trust them. They're a good dude. 
It don't matter. You don't take that chance when it comes to women and children. You do not take that chance. And y'all did. And y'all know you're fucking wrong. You know you're wrong about it. Every one of y'all shut me down on y'all streams trying to talk, trying to have a conversation. You want to act like you're just going to sweep it under the fucking rug? Let me tell you what. I have talked to Tyson James. I have spoke to Bryson Gray. Yeah. Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up big time. Because of decisions, piss poor decisions that some of y'all made. Every damn one of y'all made it, actually, by just not saying anything. Oh, well, you know, David says it's okay, and, you know, we got some mama bears over here that say it's okay. It's on paper. They're convicted pedophiles, and you allowed them to live in a fucking parking lot with women and children. Yeah. Like I said, I'm the real deal. I can't be there right now because my mom is in a nursing home dying right now. I cannot be there. I wish I could. I wish I could. But I am unable to be there right now because, like I said, my mom is in a nursing home dying right now, and I will not leave Texas at this moment. You guys ain't right, man. Y'all want to sit here and make jokes and be all childish? I mean, it, it, look, I mean, I'm, 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 when it comes to this whole thing, yes, I am center on it, on this actual situation. I'm seeing, you know, people acting like children on both sides. I don't agree with it. <laughs> Bottom line is you guys knowingly harbored and defended convicted level three child sex offenders and you allowed them to live in a parking lot with women and children. That's not right. And every damn one of you know that. Uh, some of y'all answer your fucking phone every now and then. Answer the phone. Respond to a fucking text message, something. Even if it doesn't fit your prerogative or narrative. I mean, it's too late right now. I'm at the point right now, if any one of you motherfuckers even try to call me or text me, I probably won't answer because I've been trying to get a hold of you motherfuckers. And y'all have disrespected me. And you have disrespected America by doing what you're fucking doing. Y'all just want to sit there and act like it's just going to go away. We'll we'll just sweep it under the rug. Ain't no big fucking deal. I will do everything in my power. Everything in my power to keep you from attaching yourselves to real righteous movements. And then you want to sit there and you want to call Lori and you want to call Ann and you want to call the squirrels. Hey, look, I'm not necessarily a squirrels fan at all. I don't give a shit. But the thing is, is you want to call them fucking Antifa. You want to call Anarchy Princess Antifa. None of them are Antifa. That's y'all. That, I mean, honestly, it is. It's y'all's fucking boogeyman. Antifa. <laughs> They're not fucking Antifa. I've dealt with Antifa. I've been stabbed twice, and I've been slashed once by Antifa. I know what Antifa is. These people that are taking a stand against y'all sorry asses for allowing convicted pedophiles to live with women and children, the people that are taking a stand against you guys are not Antifa. But that's what y'all want to throw out there, make your... You know, followers, you know, whatever the fuck they are. That's what y'all want them to believe, but they are not. They are not Antifa. Any one of you motherfuckers that have dealt with Antifa know goddamn good and well that they are not Antifa. 
But y'all want to act like it just because they don't, you know, don't support you. They're standing up against people that have allowed convicted level three child sex offenders live with women and children. And that is exactly what y'all have done. There ain't no lie right there. I'm not going to sit here and call y'all a pedo cult. I'm, I'm not, you know, what, what, what the fuck ever. I, you know what? I don't know about that. But the goddamn truth is y'all allowed convicted level three sex offenders, child sex offenders, live with women and children. That's a fact. <laughs> And every one of y'all are sorry. I mean, y'all are lower than well shit for doing that. Every goddamn one of you. I'm sorry. Y'all are... Fuck y'all. I mean, fuck y'all. Seriously. Lower than fucking well shit for allowing that to happen. And then you got people in there. Y'all going to be making money off of this shit. You know who you are. I'm not going to name names. You know exactly who the fuck you are. Y'all sitting here making money off of it. It ain't right. Ain't nothing right about it. I, I'm lathered up. I mean, I'm lathered up like a fucking water buffalo right now. I mean, y'all have got... I've been pissed off at y'all. And I've tried to reach out to y'all. And I've tried to speak. And I've tried to have a conversation. But no, nah, y'all just want to, you know, put a motherfucker on time out. You don't want to answer the fucking phone. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do, you know... What kind of bullshit is that? Y'all want to talk about transparency? Where's the fucking transparency? And this bullshit excuse of him being wrongfully convicted, I will not, I will not stand for that. What kind of man, I mean, seriously, what kind of man, seriously, admits to being a child sex offender if they didn't fucking do it. Ask yourself that. What kind of man admits to being a child sex offender if they didn't do it? I done said it, man. You you can hang 50. I mean, I, I ain't got but probably another, hopefully another 40 years left in me, but you can hang 50 years over my head and I would not admit to it if I did not do that. That's one thing I would not do. You know, people want to sit here and say, oh, everybody's got a background and a past. And No, that's different. This whole shit with these kiddos, it ain't right, and y'all know it. Y'all want to talk about a moral society? You want to talk about a moral society? I'll talk to you about a moral society, and it does not involve allowing convicted level three child sex offenders live with women and children in a fucking parking lot. I'm done. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't, I, you know, you, it's, it's disgusting. Any of you son of a bitches want to call me and get a hold of me, y'all got my fucking number, the ones that need to. Y'all got my fucking number. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. That you was know, amazing. Y'all yeah, hang on a second. I'm not fucking done yet. Either. I got something else. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Get him. I got something else. Get him. And y'all want to try to sit here and connect and tie and, and tie in Proud Boys into this stuff? Mm -hmm. That's not right either. That's not right. Y'all know damn good and well Proud Boys do not fuck with chomos pedophiles at least us old real proud boys do not fuck with pedophiles they do not deserve a second chance with women and children if you want to give them a second chance somewhere else by all means but not with women and children this whole pedophilia thing is it's it's, it's it's literally like an addict. It's like being a dope addict. It's like being a dope thing. 
you know, yeah, you know, an addict, they can, it, it, it's something they struggle with their whole damn life. And it's the same way with pedophiles. A murderer, you know, sometimes heat of passion, this, that, the other. I mean, yeah, of course, you got like your serial murderers and whatnot, but pedophilia, pedophiles, is something they are, they're sick. They're fighting it their whole fucking life. And you do not, you do not, I repeat, you do not give them a chance around women and children. You do not do that. And every one of you are wrong for doing it. <clears throat> Being complicit, you're just as guilty. If you didn't say anything, you're just, at this point, you are just as guilty because you did not say something. Either you did not say something or you didn't, or you're still there. I'll put it to you that way. You're still there. And that's the reason why I'm calling every one of you son of a bitches out. Every fucking one of you. Come find me. Come find me. Ask Big D when was the last time he had that beard knocked off his fucking face. <laughs> All right? Ask Big D, Dennis Yarberry, the last time he had that fucking beard knocked off of his face. Sit there and tell me you're going to, you know, come up like I'm going to drive, you know, fucking 1,500 miles when my mom's dying in a nursing home. So you can come up, so I can go up there and you, you can jack me up, big boy. <laughs> I will knock that beard smooth off of your fucking face. I know what you're about. I know what you're about. Y'all come find me. <laughs> I ain't shit. Y'all come find me. See what happens. Echo Romeo's out. <laughs> Beautiful. That was an You're epic. Awesome. That was epic. The chat loves you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.